I am very excited to show you this combo stencil mask grouping that I have prepared because I wanted stencils of my own and masks of my own that I could use specifically with mono printing plates. And I'm talking about the gel plates that we all use when we make papers and do lots of wonderful arty things. So what we've done here at Stencil Girl, it's very important to, for us to use all of our resources. And we manufacture stencils and we're often left with a little, a piece of mylar this size. So we thought, wow, that would be really cool to utilize those. So I designed these three groups of stencil mask combos that I wanted to use. And if you purchase this set, you get all three and you're going to want all three because they're so fun. So, so fun. So anyway, the first thing you would do if you get them is you have to cut them away from their backgrounds. And I'm going to do a little demo of this for you. This is the easiest one to cut away. So when you, if I hold it up to the camera, I'm hoping you can see this little, little nib up here that just holds it in. You cut it away and everywhere there's one of those little nibs, you use tiny scissors and you just make a little cut. And when you're finished doing that, you will have the mask and you will, or this is the mask and that's the stencil. So you will have all these masks and stencils. I'm gonna set these aside and show you how much you get because it's crazy. First, let me show you this picture. Okay, so this gives you an idea of what you get. The one, this is what, it comes all a solid white. And then when you cut it out, you have that, and then you have all these little pieces. The second one, this is the one I just was demoing with. These are the pieces you get. And the third one, oh my, oh my. I went a little cray cray with that one and you get this. Here they all are. I mean, look at all these little parts that you can play with, with mono printing. I absolutely love it. And these are the weird ones that I like the most because you can set them up on your plate and just do whatever you want with them. So let's take, let's get a plate and play and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All I use for this is just white paper like I put in my printer, all right? That is it. So I'm gonna have a stack of it here. I'm gonna put this the little stencils and guts parts or the mats masks or whatever we're going to call them. I'm tongue-tied today there. And then I'm going to keep this here to uh, wipe my brayer off on if I need to do that. And you'll need a brayer, of course. Here's my gel plate and yeah, it's dirty. That's how I roll. I also use inexpensive paints when I'm working with the gel plate. All right. So the first thing I usually do is you can do this any which way. You can start with paint, you can start with stencils, whatever. I'll show you some different options. I'm gonna lay some things out. I could have the stencil going the other way, whatever. This is the fun of it, is to just make it up as you go along. And that is what I love about these parts that I have come up with. I just think they're so fun to play with, right? I mean, you gotta love it. You can put them anywhere you want. And these little lines, oh my gosh, they are the bomb because they just make such really defined lines in, in whatever it is you're printing. And I really love how that looks. So oh, I've got this laid out. Yes, no, I could put a part over here. <laughs> I'm going to start with this color, which is ocean green. So I'm going to brayer it out, get it on my brayer. That's pretty much paint, like more than I need. And I'm going to go right over top of these guys. And I'm just spreading it out with my brayer.
Oops, this one jumped up. Let's put it back down there. Yeah. Pull this up. And it's quite interesting, right? Look at how that comes off. I just love that. Love, love, love these interesting parts. How it makes these crazy shapes and it holds these whites. That is so fun for me. So fun. All right, so I'm going to set that one aside. Now, I could see if I can pull anything off of these. I don't know if I can or not. Curious. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Just a little bit. All right, well, it's drying pretty quickly. So I'm going to get these up. And I'm going to put this down on just what's left over here and see if I can pull anything else of interest up. Little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Ooh, I left those there accidentally. That's okay. So let's try some of these bigger pieces perhaps and see what happens here. I'm going to get some of this color. This is kind of a neon, but I think it'll really look pretty with that blue that we've got going. I'm thinking of it as a yellow, even though it's still a neon. I'll mix it in with the blue as well. Okay, here we go. And let's just use this because it's just a star, right? Nice, nice little edges showing and shapes. As most of you know, I am very geared into abstraction. The other thing I like about these is that these, some of these shapes are so large and you can really hold white spaces. What I have found with lots of other stencils that I've seen for gel plate printing is that they're really little and the openings are little and it's all about the paint. And yeah, that's cool too. But what if you left these whites in the background? I think that it helps you to get such a more inter interesting look as you build your papers because you are gonna have more interesting value changes due to having held the whites in the beginning. And that was my idea with this. That was definitely my idea, is to use some big old parts where you can hold the whites. And look at how that's happening there and here. And these are such, it's so simplistic yet fascinating. I mean, I'm sure you could think about how you could take a section of this and instantly add it, you know, to a collage or to your journal or whatever it is that you might be making. I'm gonna set this aside for now and I'm gonna pull out a bunch of pages that I previously made so that I can give you some ideas of, you know, how I played with these. I'm really fond of this one. I let this go very grungy. You know, pink and brown. Oh my gosh, it's like a bronzy. Look at these. Imagine cropping in or just taking sections for collage. Here's some more great holding of the whites. I think that another interesting idea with this is to, let's take one of these, like this one, and let's try something different. I'm not even going to use the, um, the gel plate, okay? I'm gonna, oh, let's do this one. This one's kind of um, interesting. And just put this down and paint around it. This is a nice stiff brush, okay. 
Let's find, how about some gold? I think some gold might look amazing with this. You know, you don't have to just use the gel play. Use the edge and paint around it. You know how I am. Pretty much nothing is safe from paint when I'm around. And see how you get those edges there? We could even pull the brayer back in. I don't know if the brayer will go over it or not. It will, won't it? Look at that. How the brayer will just go over the stencil even without the plate being involved. Get experimental. You know, I always say think outside the box. Well, lots of times I don't even know if there is a box. What if, what if, right? Look at that. You can just get interesting things and then still go back over. Put it here and get some more. You notice when you brayer over the stencil, you don't get all the way to the edge, yet I somewhat like that, I should say. I really do. Let's put a little bit of this fluorescent on here. I mean, truly, the sky is the limit, the limit here. Just keep playing, and I think that these stencils will help expand your playtime. They're limited edition, mainly because we only sell them when we have enough of the excess mylar to manufacture these and we had it i don't even know how many we have in stock but i would if you're interested in getting these i would say grab them before they go out i don't know when we'll have them again let's try some dark paint um let me grab a sponge here we can stencil the real way i love these three leaves on this one I love the fact that you can use the leaf, the little insert and make a leaf like that, or you can use the one that you get cut out. So, so fun, right? I'm just trying to cover up some of those underneath dark parts that I thought were, I don't know, I thought they looked a little grungier than I wanted to be. I hope you find these stencils to be fun and that they help you expand your horizons and move into some new areas. I think that lots of good times to be had here with these stencils and these masks and all of the fabulous things you could make with them. I would say get a little Ziploc bag to put all the parts in so they're all together. Otherwise, you might tend to lose them. Some of them are kind of small. But this is Mary Beth Shaw coming to you from Stencil Girl Products. I hope you enjoyed this demo on how to use my new set.